Man, I am getting pretty worried for how Leafa or Sugu is gonna react when she realizes that the person that she's gushing over is her big brother. Like, she doesn't know. And like, we're getting kind of close, but like, she don't know. So like, this season, what what are we gonna do? Fucking save Asuna? Like, she, like, like Leafa's already kind of getting cut because like, Kirito has like, you know, a, a daughter, you know, Yui. It's got Papa. It's like, who's the mama? And once the mama comes back to the equation, it's like, What's gonna happen, right? What 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 what's gonna fucking happen? Leaf is gonna be like shit. Not only did I get cucked, I got cucked by my own bigger brother. Like this is heading towards absolute fucking disaster, and it's gonna be pretty interesting. Let's begin today's reaction. I can see in here now. Here we go. Here we go. We're back. We're back. We're back. Racist. Race. I guess spirit guns are completely useless. Leafa racist. Racist elves. <laughs> Yeah, we're good at like deception, illusions, right? Hallucination. Good for utility. I feel like our illusions will be helpful against Oberon. I don't know. I feel like some aspect of these like hallucinations, illusions, and stuff like that will be like the utility aspect will be very useful in saving Asta somehow. Lugre Corridor. What is that? The bottom of the. World tree? Twenty fucking words to cast a spell? Where is my incantation list? Message from who? Sigurd? I think Sigurd's coming for us. Be careful. Come on, connect the dots. Uh oh. Pudeya. What was the point of the wall bang there? What was the point of the wall bang there? Sigurd or different uh, races? What is it? What, what, what? So they would know that we were hidden. Good job. Oh, the soundtrack. Fire. The fire. The red guys then? The red things. Salamanders. Maybe Sigurd bought the salamanders to get after us. I don't know. You jinxed it! You jinxed it! Yep, here it is. You jinxed it. <laughs> Bro really tried fucking, you know, breaking it with a sword. Ultra high level water dragon. Ooh. Nah, it's Kirito. We got this. Damn! Women belong in the fucking... ...support. Alright, let's see what Kirito can do. This is a familiar soundtrack. We've heard this one before. From part one. That boy thick. Man, we can't just go fucking use Starburst stream on them either, huh? We're getting fucked up. Okay, okay, healing. Bro, that's not gonna do anything. Kito straight up out of meta. He's washed, dude. Actually washed. Oh, oh. Didn't like our last raid, like everyone died? Well, a lot of people died. And like, remember the black cats? Sachi and all the NPCs died. What other party? When, remember the first part? Remember the first labyrinth? Remember the first labyrinth? You know, Diabel? 
<laughs> Remember, there, a lot of people there died too. <laughs> I mean, I understand he's not saying I've never let anyone die in my party, but like. <laughs> He's yelling! Starburst Dream! Swordland! <laughs> so like, instead of just smacking the seals every time, what if I like use my hand and like remove the shield, right? Just like, just, just move and then fuck it with us. <laughs> this is pretty silly. Alright. They're saying a bunch of gibberish. Oh yeah, that's the best part of the soundtrack. Oh shit! Tony Warren incantation? It's gonna make you look like a monster? What kind of monster? Gleam eyes? Gleam eyes? What, what is this? Do we notice that? Yeah, it's the, you know, Starburst stream guy that we did. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I thought this is illusion magic. I thought this is just to make, like, look like a big monster. But, like, this looks like a huge power up. It's just, yay, yay. Yay. I just straight up eating it. What is going on? <laughs> oh, bro's got breath attacks too, maybe? <laughs> Yo, this magic's busted! Any last words? <laughs> Jump! The dragon though, the water dragon! Eat him! Pop! No? Okay. Yo, Kirito was wild in there! What? Sigurd. It's gotta be Sigurd. Sigurd has to have, you know, bought these salamanders to attack as worn by Rekos. You know, it says S there at the end. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice fight, bro. <laughs> I just traumatized every one of you. Are we bribing him? Ooh. I know you want to take it. Come on, bro. Get your bag, bro. Yeah. You take it all. <laughs> Men. Man, what the fuck was this sequence of events? I... I don't know how to process what just happened. It was like, it was supposed to be illusion magic only. But then he actually became like some kind of fucking druid and became like had like druid powers and like became the gleam eyes and like the physical strength was all there. Illusion my ass and he just like so and even funnier before that was the revelation that he could just simply move the shield instead of just like attacking him the entire time. This battle has to be one of the most memed on battles in this show, right? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> It's gotta be sick or somehow. Orders from higher up! Massive army going north. Why? What, what is up north? <laughs> we need to get the highest tier gear first before attempting that. Yeah, bro, you can keep your loot. Why don't we just kill him and just keep the loot? Fuck you. Why, why would I... We gotta be a good guy, but it's like we could totally just keep the loot and kill him. <laughs> yes, got the loot. What? What does that happen before? Yeah, that was the illusion magic. Is he camping? I've never, when was the last time he went berserk and lost his memories? A light novel, maybe? Yeah, you ate him. Did you, you ate him, bro? <laughs> Why does 
What's going on right now? This episode's just... What's going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm sure Lipa enjoyed that bite Riz. I'm sure Lipa enjoyed that. Oh, dude, the slap left the fucking hit mark on him. <laughs> Look. Oh, that was a joke, bro? That was a joke? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Recon. Warning from something and then S at the end. No, 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 no. Wasn't it? Wasn't it Leafa that was trying to do some fancy some shit? No, no, no. She was the one trying to do funny business before when Kirito logged off and then Yui kept popped out of the fucking pocket and was like, Gaslighting. Bye bye. Now, are we gonna get more hints on who Kirito could be? What are you doing, big bro? What time is it? That's a lot of calls. Nagata is retcon, right? Yeah, it is. Not Sakuya? Who the fuck is Sakuya? Your leader? Did this actually happen? Or is it just like off screen material? Okay, Sigurd said he'd be a decoy and lure three of them away, but that's probably when he spent some time to talk to the salamanders for that higher order of orders or some shit. I don't know. Potimas activity! Sigurd's planning ship behind your back. That's what's happening. Sigurd sold us out to the salamanders! Recon's actually been kind of useful right now. Salamanders. What are they talking about? That's the tracer that we killed, yeah? The bad thing. <laughs> you fucking... Like, why would you... Why would you... You're already invisible, but you tripping like... Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> so fucking, you just, guys just so fucking... I'm hating on him a lot, but like, damn, he is not a likable character at all. Like, this kid is so annoying and incompetent. You deserve that. He died. <laughs> they captured him! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Kate, sis, another race? <laughs> We've got to do a detour, huh? So when we're going to the base of the fucking world tree, and now we're like, actually, now we gotta now go handle some our own self bullshit. You know, uh, Potimas has basically sold us out to the Salamanders, and Sakuya, our leader, is going to sign some kind of shit with some other team, and Potimas is now gonna, you know, ambush them, and now Leafa has to go there to save him. Alright, let's do a detour. Ooh. Can't believe we came all this way for fucking nothing. We did get more info, but it's like, damn, we made it all the way here and we're like just fucking going all the way fucking back. Less competition? I don't know. This is the case sis? The case sis just looks like a bunch of fucking furries. I don't know what's their fucking mask. And this is the salamanders. Basically more economic incentive to basically, you know, kill people off and ambush and stuff like that. Case sis. Cats. They're straight up cats. 
またスイルベンからで直しだろうしねうんもう行きたいなら君はサラマンダーに協力するのが最善かもしれない Because they have the most men. 作戦に成功すれば万全の体制で世界中攻略に挑むと思う、hmm. スプリガンのも Betray the selves and go with salamanders Do it Fuck Leafa Let's go find Asuna Uh oh Dramatic moment all of a sudden but I've changed thanks to Aegil and Balls Deep 69. Asuna. Important dialogue here. If you let your desires control you in this world, like her desires to get Onisama. As incest. It'll change in the real world too. The more she falls in love with Kirito here in the game. I like you! Uh oh! Friend zoned. Friend zoned. I'd kill her in looter. I'd fucking kill her in a heartbeat in looter, dude. Ah, uh, she's getting more rizzed up, but it's just a sister friend zone. Nah, that was a kind of cool speech. Oh, oh. The fuck? Could he always run like this? Holy shit! Today's episode was unintentionally funny for me. I don't know. I like this. This whole battle sequence on the bridge was just like fucking hilarious. Just like the, the fact that, you know, Kirito kept like smacking the dudes with the shield over and over until he realized he could just move the shield. I was like, are you serious, dude? Are you, are you, are you fucking serious, dude? And then turning into Gleam Eyes. The turning into Gleam Eyes and having Swordland play in the background was pretty epic for sure. But it's like, I thought it's just supposed to be illusion. What the fuck was all that about? I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't fucking know. I know people say that part two of SAO, you know, season one is pretty fucking bad. And, and there's probably some elements to do this that's kind of, you know, playing into it. And we still haven't gotten the, you know, the sister, you know, realizing Kirito incest plot line, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to be upset about too. But hey, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite the messy dumpster fire of a uh, part two right now. But it's still entertaining for me. So I'm enjoying it. And basically what's going to happen now is like, uh, but it's an ambush between like political clout between like two factions. There's like economic incentives and then Salamanders could go in. But it's like we could join the Salamanders and we could climb up the tree better. I'm sure Kirito's not gonna betray them i'm sure we'll figure out our, out our own way to climb a tree without the help of well i don't know maybe they can help us maybe we can unite them maybe kirito can show up maybe kirito can show up and like we can like unite all these elves like give a fucking main character speech or some shit right have a cool edgy speech and make sure everyone can team up and then we can all climb the tree together i don't fucking know we'll find out pretty soon but hey if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care